This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I render fog in ZBrush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about rendering fog. So let's say with earthquake here, I wanna have him look like he's coming out of some fog inside of ZBrush. So how can I go by doing that? So I'm gonna go through two processes on how you can render fog inside of ZBrush. The first one is going to use the best or preview render. And then the second one is going to use the BPR rendering system. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna come up here to the render palette up here. and just wanna kick this little option here and that's just gonna allow me to dock that render palette to this left tray. So this is gonna make it a little bit easier when adjusting the settings so I don't have to keep coming up to the top here and opening up that render tab. Now, after I have that render area docked to the side here, I need to go to the render properties area. And then in here, I'm just gonna enable fog. And you'll see when I turn the fog option on, the background of my scene here is gonna be changed to white. And then if I scroll down in that render area, I just need to locate the fog area. And in here, we have some options in which we can tailor how this fog is going to look. So by default, the intensity will be set to 100 and the depth values will be set to zero and one. And this is what you're going to get with those settings. So what I wanna do is I wanna get the fog to look like it's going across earthquake. So I wanna have his hand in the foreground here to not be covered in fog. And then the one that's receding into the background have that fog or depth effect. So with these sliders here, I can determine where that fog range is going to happen. So with the depth option one, I want this to have the range that's gonna be affecting the front or foreground area of earthquake. And then the depth two slider is going to be affecting the back or receding area on earthquake. Now I could come over and type in these values, but it's gonna be kind of hard to determine what the value is for that depth. So instead of doing that, I can come across the slider and click and drag, and this is going to give me a pick option. So when I have this pick option, I can come across and select the area on his front fist here, and you'll see it's going to automatically set that depth. Then I can go to depth two and set the depth for his receding hand, and that is gonna set the second depth there. And now you can see the fog effect is appearing on screen. So as I rotate around, you'll see that the areas that are in the front or closer to the camera are clearer, and then the ones that are receding in the background are now being covered in that fog. Now I can come over here and change the intensity on this. So maybe if I don't want the fog to be so harsh, I'll just come over and adjust this over here. I can also change the coloring of the fog and then even adjust the curve of how that fog is going to be generated from the first depth to the second depth. Now, after you have this, it's going to be displayed in preview here. And then if I come over here and I try to click BPR, you're gonna see that the fog is going to vanish. So this effect will only work with preview or best render. So it will not work with BPR. So if you wanna render this out, you can definitely keep the preview option enabled and you'll get your model with that fog. Or you can come into the top of the render tab here and you can use the best renderer by coming over here and clicking and this will now render your scene with GI shadows, and you'll now have Earthquake here rendered with that fog effect. Now let's say that you want to use the BPR system instead of the best or preview option over here. So is there a way I can set up fog using that? So the answer is yes, and so first I'm gonna come over here to the render palette, and I'm just gonna turn off the fog option, and then I'm gonna close that render property area there. And then I'm going to find the BPR filters area and open this up. And in here we have a whole bunch of options here that we can apply post-processing filters to our BPR render. So I'm first gonna come over here and click BPR, which is going to render Earthquake without that fog there. So here is the BPR render of Earthquake. And then now if I navigate to the BPR filters area, I can come over here and activate one of these. And this is going to enable one of those post-processing filters. So you'll see the F1 slot here by default is set to noise. So I'm getting this noise effect being applied to earthquake. So I wanna change from the noise effect to a paint effect, which is gonna allow me to replicate or create that fog illusion. So I'm gonna come and click on the filter area here, which is gonna open up this list of filters. 
In here, I wanna locate the paint filter and just apply that. You'll see when this is applied, it's now applying a paint coloring across the entire render. And I come over here and change the color to say white. And then now I can scroll down beneath the main settings for the filter here. And now I can adjust the masking options for this filter. So these options down here will allow me to tailor where this filter is gonna be applied to that best preview render. And one of the options down here is these depth options again, which are very similar to the effects we're using to create that fog with the preview renderer. So I can come across the depth A option and click and drag and set that on to Earthquake's front hand, and then come across depth B, click and drag, set that to the back hand. And then now I can change the depth option here and I'm gonna be able to get that fog effect with the BPR render. So I can change these two sliders here and this is now going to give me that fog effect. I can also come up here to the paint option and change this and then even adjust the opacity, which is going to determine how much that fog is going to be applied to the scene. So after I have that set, I can now rotate the model and then re-render with BPR and this filter is now going to kick in and I'm gonna be able to render Earthquake now with that fog using the BPR system. So those are the two quick rundowns on how you can create fog inside of ZBrush. So the first one was using the preview render with the render properties fog option, and then adjusting the fog menu here in the render settings. So setting your front depth and your back depth, and then adjusting the intensity slider. And then the second option for using with BPR is just to apply a BPR paint filter to your render and then you can come down to the masking options for that filter and apply those same depth values. So apply the front depth and the back depth and then you can adjust the settings there and that will allow you to generate that fog effect when you're using BPR. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.